हेलो एवरी वन सचिन दिस साइट इन टूडे वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन बी लेवरेज गूगल शीट इन ऑटोमेशन सो इन टूडे वीडियो आई एल कवर हाउ कैन बी इनकॉर्पोरेट गूगल शीट विथ टेस्ट एन जी मी वन जावा एंड हाउ हाउ वी कैन यू नो लेवरेज इन ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क ओके सो नाउ इन टूडे वीडियो एज आई सेड आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन बी लेवरेज गूगल शीट इन ऑटोमेशन ओके सो नाउ let's see the example okay so before proceeding okay let me show you one excel sheet so what is my requirement okay uh, you can say my requirement is the client requirement so client is asking i want the test data into the excel sheet okay in the google sheet not excel okay in the google sheet so client has given one requirement he is saying like i am going to add some urls on daily basis and this is this client is having access for the sheet okay you can see with multiple people the sheet okay so he has added you know couple of links into the sheet and this sheet also having some data like region domain so basically let me talk about let me pick this second url so uh, it is the client saying you need to tell like the urls whatever urls is mentioned are those working or not you need to you know print uh, you know uh, the pass or fail result if url is correct so example let me open this url and uh, you know and if i you know hit this url okay so this url opened so it, it means it's working so how can i verify so one way we, i can use the selenium and if this is opening and look it is matching then i can say it is working fine and other other things like i can hit the api instead of open the url example if i open the postman in postman if i hit this url if it is correct it will give me 200 as well as you know lots of you know the code Yeah, like response code, okay. And here you can see in the form of HTML form, okay. So now it should be two hundred. If something is wrong, right? If I say this is something wrong, then it won't give any response. It will fail. You can see here, okay. So now, now we understood the requirement, okay. And one more URL. If I open, right? I have added some, you know, some more URL where we will see, you know, some some different, okay, response code. Sorry, different status code, okay. So this URL I am hitting, and here I am getting five not three service unavailable. So likewise, there is some, you know, correct some incorrect URL, and you can see here some more URL, okay, four hundred, okay. So that we can capture, you know, good good report. Otherwise, if we don't have data, then report won't looks good, okay. Four hundred bad request, okay. so the client what he want he is saying you need to create one new sheet okay in sheet you need to add some headers example like i can take you know this headers okay this is okay and here status code and here result so now if i pick you know first entry okay so first entry if i you know pick so this is what the first entry and for this you know five node three and i was getting you know five node three for this okay i recently check so i am getting five node three so it means this is not correct right so it should be the fail okay and this one i hit it is working fine and you need to make so the response so the status code was 200 this would be passed so this is what the client want so daily basis right um, they will add you know few, few entries in the sheet and you need to create one new sheet you know uh, you can give you some unique name and this should be you need to handle by automation not manually okay so i think the requirement is clear okay so i am going to delete this sheet sheet 4 and what is in sheet 3 oh nothing is there okay i was doing something i was spelling with google sheet api all right so now we are aware about the requirement okay now let's jump into the you know code how we can handle this things okay so i am going to open the eclipse so eclipse i have demonstration about this class last videos like sheet quick start and where we have you know read data from the sheet where we have created you know new sheet okay so now i am closing this you know class so now i have created this you know new class okay and this name i have given google sheet test scenarios so before proceeding okay let me open the form.xml 
okay and so earlier we have added this three dependencies now you can see the few more dependencies so now i am going to use test ng so test ng we already know as a tester like how we can use test ng and some library for the rest assured okay this one as well as one json path so why i'm using rest assured i'm using rest assured to hit the api and from where i can you know uh, pick the status code i can verify that you know url is correct or not we are able to hit the request if we are getting the response then that is correct okay so now let me close in pom.xml okay now let me explain this code everything i have written already because otherwise way to be more long if i you know start writing now so now first existing uh, you know um, spreadsheet id so this is the spreadsheet id eky at the last so yeah eky okay now next sheet name is blank as of now so this is the test sheet name which uh, what is the test sheet name so this is the same test name test data okay so i am you know keeping this globally total rows few variables okay and this is i am i have hard coded the total number of columns in the sheet so three columns okay in test data sheet and now i am jumping to this before class so in before class i need to you know set up few things so one you know uh, one i am taking this you know local date time so where um, that i'm 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 going to use uh, you know to generate the unique sheet name and uh, okay so next uh, this is a get credential so where i'm you know um uh, uh, set up for you know google authentication using by or two so where you know uh, the file that we have kept in credential or json right so those things it is handling here get credential and this is to get the instance of the google sheet okay so those things i have set you know uh, in before class okay so now next is a get rows so it will help me to give the total number of rows of the test data sheet okay so here you can see here this test data sheet okay and again here this is a you know date time formatter which will give me you know different type of date format now new sheet name would be like text result underscore you know current date and format would be date months year along with hours minute and second all right and this sheet name i am you know printing here as well and now next year create new sheet so this sheet i am creating not, not spread sheet so sheet is uh, spreadsheet is already there so with the help of spreadsheet i am creating new sheet with the name of this new sheet name okay so here one new sheet will create automatically and next when sheet create right i am you know uh, creating uh, you know writing some data so this data would be the headers okay so first time right it will execute only one time before class right or you can take in you know before shoot it's up to you like how how you are going to handle so when this new sheet will create so header will be uh, you know uh, will be written first time and those things i am handling you know before class all right so this part is clear okay so where i am you know create uh, headers would be like you are a status code result reason domain okay those things okay and existing spreadsheet id that i am i need to pass okay when i am creating new you know when when i am writing the google sheet okay now coming to the test okay so this is the test okay and if i go to data provider so data provider this is the name i have given the test data and uh, you know few variable i have created header values row values from here in final data is object right when all it is captured then this is returning okay now i'm jumping to the test case so in test case if you see here so i am using this data provider and uh, from data provider i am getting like map of obs map okay two dimensional like map of object object and the test data and this test data i am using here okay if you want to see right how things will happen okay so can i debug then it will help you to understand you know much more okay so i am debugging this first okay you can see here it, it has stopped okay so now first 
it is you know to get the credential it is making the connection with the help of the secret token so debugging is in progress so now here you can see here this is what you know will get you know date format okay now let me do it so this would be the sheet name i'm printing as well so like sheet name would be like this okay and i am appending test result okay so now if i click on this create new sheet so new sheet will be created here you can see here live see here just now it has created okay now i am you know moving back and here the, from here i am writing you know the headers okay i am again moving all right now i am on the test case so first test case it will give you know first data so here you can see this reason asia domain mocking url mock code 503 so here this this one you can see here was 503 first one okay and here let me you know go line by line then it will be much clear like how it is working this code okay so in the test case you can see here this debug point came on this status code let's see what is the status code let me execute this line and here you know it should give the 503 first one okay now let me move forward okay so it is not 200 so this is i'm you know explicitly i'm saying it should be fail because this this is not matching as per my requirement is 200 so now i'm saying it should fail okay it is not matching as per my requirement okay let me do it okay here you can see here it has written the result okay fine now okay so this is this is how it will pick all one by one from here to here and now it will you know go go inside the test okay i'm going to execute again now it will pick the next value here you can see here and it will go so what i'm going to do i am going to remove this point and let's see it is very quick right and it is very good right we are able to use the google sheet and we are able to you know uh, uh, we are able to add the requirement into the sheet some test cases fail okay looks like you know some url it is you know wrong url and which has caused the issue and here you can see here wait wait and here you can see 503 503 it has captured oh it has captured all so where it fail okay so all result has been written what happened right it has it it went inside the cache and so where i'm trying to you know response would extract response so it is saying the response itself is null so it cannot you know extract this data so that is a you know exception it is showing however if you see in the test result right it has captured all till you know till last 5 mode 3 okay and this is very good right you can see this 5 mode 3 last one also 5 mode 3 and it has captured you know this and these are two new column okay and uh, status code as well as a pass and fail status okay and this is the mocking 400 403 501 503 and this is the status code this is very good right this you google said you can utilize into your project you can retry it you can share the report you can implement in you know, automation and this example you have seen how i have integrated with test ng maven java and this is how we can leverage the, this google sheet into the automation all right that's what i want to cover in this session and if you like please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and in the next video i'm going to talk about how many requests we can hit that is also one thing right is this free is this paid or can can i hit like more thousand requests so these things i am going to cover in the next video stay tuned thank you have a good day happy learning Bye-bye.